All right, what's going on? Time for a mod that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Today we're going to be painting the brakes of the M3. So now that we got our sandals on, we are ready to prep the surface. So the first thing I did was pull the car in and clean up the wheel calipers and sort of the brake rotor, that whole area. After you let it dry, what I did was I sanded and used a wire brush on the whole area because you want it to be as clean, dust free, rust free, and um, just ready to be uh, painted. And uh, that's what you want to do. You want to rough up the surface. You don't want it super slick or super smooth. My calipers from the factory on these M3s are black, which is fine, but I just decided I want to go with a different color. And uh, in order to do that, you actually have to sand some of the black off. It feels kind of weird, but um, it's no problem at all. It'll help the paint bond. Once you've sanded down the surface and it's all prepped, you've used your wire brush, and uh, obviously a few microfibers you're ready to pitch. Um, you know, isopropyl alcohol is really good or CarPro eraser, something like that that's going to be absorbing a lot of the crap that's coming off of the wheel and really just keep cleaning it until, you know, pretty much no dirt comes off. Obviously brakes are very dirty in general, but um, don't worry about that. It's always going to be kind of a little dirty around the seams no matter what. So the next step was taping. I don't really want to go into a lot of detail regarding taping. Obviously, we're going to be taping off any of the areas that you don't want to paint. So any part of the brake rotor that's going to be moving, it's very clear on any rotor, whether it was painted before or not, any sort of brighter silver area, you can tell that the brake rotor is moving there or any sort of pieces that are sliding, tape those because you don't want to put paint on them. It'll chip right off and it'll start flaking and it's no good. So obviously tape off any of the areas that you don't want to get paint on, anything that's moving, the little tabs, the little clip. I took off the clips on my front rotors and I will be painting this side of the clip, but I don't want to be painting the black part, especially the black part that mates inside here. Obviously this one I haven't taped off yet, but I don't mind that the little uh, black part that holds it in is going to stay black. It's fine. It kind of looks normal. And then this part this will go right here. If I left that black, it'd look kind of weird. So we're definitely going to be painting that today. Um, other than that, I would say there's going to be a few areas you might need to use a razor blade just to make sure the seam is really nice and flush. Definitely take your time and definitely be willing to spend the time because once it's taped perfectly, going to paint is much less stressful. So definitely recommend spending the time taping off the little, uh, you know, the um, brake pad sensor wire and stuff like that. Definitely just be very cognizant of whatever's there that you want to, you don't want to mess up. And I actually wasn't even going to film this video tonight. I was going to go ahead and start tomorrow morning, which the plan is to get it prepped and dried. And then I was going to have the wheels dry and then I was going to tape them tomorrow morning, but they've already dried because it's already been a few hours. So we're going to start the video tonight and I wanted to tell you guys what color I went with, which you'll be able to see in just probably like a few seconds here, but this is the G2 caliper paint. It's specifically made. It says 980 degrees. I've actually used it before years ago and uh, it's very popular. Um, one of the reasons I like it is because it's not a spray can. When you deal with a spray can, you have to deal with overspray and masking off the whole thing or taking the calipers off or whatever it may be. And uh, you know, there's always two camps. The camps that think that this makes sense because it's a lot less stressful and for this purpose, it'll be just fine. And then the other camp says that you have to rattle can it or you have to get it professionally done. Um, because it'll sit, you know, it'll be a much better finish. I've never had an issue with the way I did it before, so we're gonna go ahead and do it this way. They give you a brake cleaner, and then they give you the paint and also the activator. I think this is a uh, little chemical activator. It's only uh, able to be used for a few hours, so when you do it, you pretty much have to have all four uh, caliper is ready to go. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys the color I'm going with. I actually went with a special color and that is called Le Mans Blue. So my goal for these brake calipers was to make them a little more noticeable but not obnoxious. And I also was playing around with the different options on their website and I came across Le Mans Blue and I really like it because as a lot of you guys probably know, it's a paint color for BMW 
Uh, they made it on the M3, they made it on the E39 M5, the E60, and I think they still make it on um, you know modern BMWs as well. I, I'm not really sure, but I, I assume they do. Um, and so that's kind of what really sold me, but really the goal was to find a blue, I wanted blue, that was not too bright where it looked cheesy, but also not too dark, you know, that you don't really notice the difference because they're already black. So that was the goal. I thought about getting um, bronze or gold, to be honest with you guys, because the carbon ceramics on the new M3s are bronze or gold, which I think is cool. But, you know, these aren't really that impressive looking brakes. And also the reason I wanted to go with the blue is because the new M3s that don't have carbon ceramics have sort of a dark blue color to it. So it also looks like it could be from the factory. So um, I'm gonna wrap this portion of the video up because this thing's all taped, it's wiped down. Actually, the only thing I have to do is tape this little thing right here. Uh, I guess I could always hold it when I wanna tape it, but I don't wanna have to worry about it tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to sleep because it's actually kinda late right now. We're gonna come back fresh and early tomorrow morning and we're gonna paint these brake calipers. Good morning, welcome to the second part of the video which includes the actual painting of the brake calipers. Uh, as I mentioned, I went with Le Mans Blue for a few reasons which hopefully you already know from earlier in the video. So, all you have to do is take out the reactor, take out the paint, mix them all together. Uh, this full bottle goes in here. Uh, that is why this can is not full all the way. There we go, there's the blue. All right, now of course, you're gonna have to stir this stuff really good. Let it sit for about five minutes. Um, I think that's all the time it needs to change you know, the chemicals inside of it to make it applicable and bondable to the caliper, and then stir it again, and then we're gonna be ready for paint. Ooh, metallic. So we're gonna do one coat. Uh, this little area right here is a little too thick, so we're gonna try to spread it down here. I'm gonna try to spread it. Uh, first coat is supposed to be very thin, and then the second will be a full, normal, thick coat. If that makes sense. And then we'll see how much paint is remaining if I wanna decide if I wanna do a third or sort of just a little final touch-up coat. Oh, this will look good. This is really metallic-y. That little bit of paint goes a long way, I will say that. I just dipped it in once and we're still using it. So, especially on the first coat, don't go too heavy. All right, let me show you guys the first coat. I know it's probably a little bit too thick, but you can see a few areas. It's harder to tell on camera that, um, you know, kind of, it's hard to hold the light and show you, but there's, a you know, little streaks or little areas where you can sort of see the black brake caliper underneath, um, you know, on the front right here. One coat, let that dry for about 15 minutes. I'm actually going to go onto the rear brake caliper and start the rear and then I'll do the second coat on the Second coat is dry. Uh, well, actually, it's only been dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. I did a much thicker coat on the second coat, and uh, it's looking really good. Of course, the Le Mans blue um, looks a lot more blue when there's light on it, so like if I turn the light off, of course the camera's going to adjust, but it really does look dark. Um, it's really going to take getting out into the sun to notice it. Um, so we'll see. I mean, maybe they're a little bit too dark, but I didn't want to go too bright. You know, a lot of the blues end up looking like this blue tape, and it just looks really cheesy. So I'd rather it be a little darker than too bright, to be honest with you. But it's looking really good. Of course, you can see all the areas that I taped off. And uh, it definitely has some nice metallic uh, sparkle to it, which hopefully will help uh, when the car is out in the sun. So I'm going to go ahead. All I did was I did the first coat here. And then I did a first coat in the rear. 
And then once I was done with that one, I went to the second coat here, and then I did the second coat here, which I'll show you on the rear just so you guys can see another brake caliper. Uh, obviously exactly the same concept and then I didn't go all the way back but that's kind of where you can see I stopped I went pretty much all the way back but it's just sort of unnecessary to get all that crazy uh, that far back so um, you know you can see the areas that I taped off and you can see the areas that I didn't paint and I will say um, I would definitely this brush they give you is actually just fine it's a pretty good size I also used a really small brush. This was actually from my Dr. Color Chip thing. Uh, you know, if I just need to sort of put a little drop of paint kind of in the corner there or get up around, you know, sort of like that. So this is actually helpful. If you just have these two little brushes, I think you'll be just fine. All right guys, so we are finally finished. I ended up doing three coats of the G2 caliper paint and I think it looks amazing. A lot of people get scared that when you brush paint uh, something like this that you'll have streaks or it won't level properly, but I have to say that it to it's not fully dry. This one has probably only been dry for about an hour. Uh, they say you should give it at least two hours before you put the wheels on and then 24 hours before you're actually driving on it. Uh, so this car will sit for another few hours before I even think about putting the wheels back on it. Uh, there's no reason to rush into that, but I think it looks great. I will tell you, um, it is a dark blue. It is very metallic, but it also is very dark. So when you're in a dark space where there's not a lot of sunlight, um, you know, it's going to look maybe potentially black, which, uh, you know, kind of sucks for all the work that I did, but I want to show you kind of what it looks like if it has proper lighting on it. Uh, whether you're taking a picture or maybe you're out in the sun uh, you know as soon as you put a light on it you guys can kind of see even just from where you're at right now that there's definitely a metallic color i'll bring you in uh, let, let's show you guys exactly what this looks like i'll take off the uh tape in just an hour or so but i want to show you guys how far back i went um pretty much uh, right to the edge here. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's as far back as I went and as you guys can see there's no streaks, uh, there's no paint runs or anything like that. To me this is a lot easier than using a rattle can if you, you know, feel like doing something like this. Uh, but I think it's really great. I, I wanted it very similar to the M's on the new M's and I think that uh, it's pretty close. All right, so sidebar, I actually did some digging uh, earlier this morning before I started this just to make sure, uh, I, I was actually interested just to see what the actual color of the new brakes are on the new M cars. And I wasn't sure if it was Astoral, Le Mans, or Interlagos. You know, there's a few of them that are very similar, but um, there's a separate paint code for the calipers on the new cars. And it actually turns out that the actual color that it should be according to a few posts that I read is Estoril Blue. I will put it in the description if it is. I did obviously go with Le Mans, but I'll put a couple pictures on the screen. Um, of course, it's always going to differ depending on what screen you're looking on and stuff like that, but um, all of them are very similar. Um, Estoril is a little bit, I think, more bright than Le Mans. You know, Le Mans needs a little bit more light. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna take the tape off. And I'm going to try to get some glamour shots for you guys.
start. God, I'm sorry for the noise, guys. So here we are, the brakes, which, of course, since it's not sunny, you can't really see them. Alright guys, so with that, that is going to wrap up this video on how I painted my brake calipers on my E92 M3. Once again, it is Le Mans Blue, which is a BMW color. I'll put it in the description box below. Um, it actually, really quick secret, is it actually was under the Chevy category under the G2. You can look up by manufacturer and I actually just happened to go through GM and just see what they had and they actually had Le Mans because they actually had Le Mans Corvettes. Uh, that they painted blue as well and I can only assume it's the exact same color so uh, that is maybe a little bit confusing but I figured what the heck um, if I had to give it a overall rating you know the actual uh, process was completely fine but I wish I would have went with maybe a storal blue or maybe slightly brighter but I was scared that it was going to look cheesy and too bright so to be honest with you I'm glad I erred on the safer side um, if I do the M5 I might do that one a storal blue just to see how it comes out of course the wheels are a little more closed than these but uh, I'll have to get some pictures in the sun post it on Instagram so follow me there and uh, that's going to do it links are in the description see you guys next time